Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our daily angelic message. There's a reason why I'm laughing. For, did I say the date yet? What is it? 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, March 7th, 2024. That's what today's is, March 7th, 2024. I'm laughing because we get yet another five. So you must be going back, you don't have to, but you should potentially think about, go back and watch the weekly with the dailies, watch all of them because it all gives a piece of the puzzle. And we have this big theme of mountains, the number five and the number six. We have another five here. This card says goblins. This is telling me that you guys really retreat back into yourselves on this day. There could be something where you're like, yeah, I'm feeling brave. I'm feeling brave. I am just not feeling brave today. I am going to again, retreat back into myself, but I'm, I'm going to go back into my old ways. Now the goblins could be in my mind, the way my intuition is picking this up. This is more about being afraid of the dark. Potentially nothing's there. Okay. <laughs> but you've got yourself so convinced that something's lurking, uh, you know, or for some of you, I just heard that, um, you're feeling a little paranoid that someone is out to get you they wish you harm or ill will or something like that. Watch your thoughts here. Watch, watch what's going on there. Even if someone, you know, there are energy vampires everywhere and we should probably do a whole video on that at some point, but just a quick treatment here. These energy vampires don't function the way you think. They don't always show up as the needy friend, you know, or a needy family member or that needy coworker or whatever. They can show up as the person who just wants to make sure you have a bad day. They just want to make you uncomfortable, right? So it could be a stranger in the street who just um, yells at you, right? I'll tell a quick story here. I was at a store and the store isn't very big. I was walking out of it and there was this woman and this little toddler blocking the doorway. Okay. There's two doors. They were blocking both of them. And I came out and I smiled down at the child and, um, the woman kind of scowled at me and I thought, okay, this, this is weird, but there you go. There's that dark energy. She's already trying to start something. Okay. But we're not playing those games. We're not doing this. So I stood there patiently waiting for them to figure out what they're going to do. Now this toddler, um, is it possible for toddlers to be stuck up already? Or do we give them room because they're toddlers? I don't even know. This little girl, what was she on? I think she was on her phone. <coughs> I don't, I didn't pay attention. She had something in her hands that she was messing with. And she was not listening to this woman. And the woman was not frustrated. It was all very kind of like chill. And like, come on, honey, open the door. Open the, we're standing in, in the like entryway and, there's not much room. And so she sees me. So don't play devil's advocate and be like, well, maybe she, no, maybe nothing. Okay. Maybe she's exactly what I'm saying she is. And she's an energy vampire. She wanted to make sure I had a bad day and she's having a power struggle with me. So I was again, not engaging. I'm just going to stand here until they figure this out. I don't know what's so hard about figuring this out, but okay. Uh, so eventually, I mean, we were standing there probably about a minute. I kid you not. The woman finally gets the child off to the side and I go around and I nod down at the kid again and I go out the door. The woman, ooh, the woman's face changed. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can see someone's soul. Now, some people are built for that. Not everybody is. Some people can see that face morph and they can see, um, sort of like the energy overlay around it. I know that sounds weird, but I could see that. I could see it in like, mostly in my mind's eye, right? <laughs> but, but she had like a nasty face on physically looking at her, but in my mind's eye, I could see what was going on there. And I was like, oh, okay. So I go on out the door and she starts yelling at me. Wow, wow, I guess we weren't moving fast enough for you. Someone was walking up to the door at that point and she felt the need to tell that person and point out to me as I'm walking away, I guess she was, she just went off in a half and no, 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 just yelling, trying to start something. Now, did it rattle me? Yeah. Why? Because I know what I'm dealing with. I know what's behind me. And that's not fun for one, but it rattled me because it was weird. Like here's somebody who's unhinged. 
that whole thing was weird. This is not a regular human I'm dealing with here, if a human at all. So I'm just saying like the goblins are out, okay? But even in, in some situations, but <coughs> even given that case, um, you don't have to let them have power over you. You see what I'm saying? Like, like I said, like it, it got to me for like a second, but I recovered very quickly and moved on. So just bear that in mind for today. Don't let anybody take your energy, but also don't, unfortunately we have so many cluster B personality disorder people now studying stuff like this so they can mimic being a good person. I'm telling you, you got to get your heart online. You got to get your intuition online. So you know what you're dealing with. It's not really, you know, open for your commentary or for your judgment, just so you know, and you know whether you want to participate in it or not. Okay, we're gonna leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.